Now, we are going to delete a vendor in QuickBooks. Um, to delete a vendor, all we have to do is, you know, right click and click on delete vendor. However, in QuickBooks, if you use a vendor, you know, at least once, you will not be able to um, to delete that vendor. The only thing you will be able to do is make that vendor inactive. So, let me show you how to make that vendor inactive. All we have to do is click, right click, and then click on create make vendor inactive. Yes. Now, let's see how we can delete that vendor. Since this vendor we haven't used it, we can just cl click on delete vendors. Oh, it looks like this vendor we have already used. It. So the the only way we will be able to delete a vendor is, you know, is if we have not used that vendor for any for anything yet. So let me show you how we can, you know, delete a vendors. So let's create a new vendor. Let's call let's call this vendor, you know triple you know tt tt corp and then copy the name for the company name and then we're gonna leave the opening balance um we're not gonna put anything for the opening balance and then we we'll put the address 45 lemon street Lancaster. Pennsylvania 17545 and then we copy we do the same thing that we did in the first and the first the first step that we when we were creating the first vendor so we click OK now the vendor shows on the vendors list now to delete that vendor all we are going to do is just you know right click just like I said mentioned earlier you know and then click on delete and then we click OK to you know to confirm the reason why we were able to delete that vendor is because we didn't use it for anything um, the, but the opening balance was zero and we didn't do anything with that vendor so quickbooks and quickbooks we were allowed you know we were allowed to you know we were able to delete that vendors